What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today, we're going to be going over Phantom FTM, which is down 0.4% at 27 cents. We have a 3.1 billion max supply with 2.7 billion coins in circulation and a market cap of 757 million. The all time high on this coin is 346, a little over a year ago, so pretty much last bull run. All time low was three years ago at 001. So, with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Phantom. All right, everyone, we're, here's the day trade here. We're just zoomed out looking at the lifespan of Phantom right now, and it's not looking the greatest in the long term, I'd have to say. This kind of looks like a head and shoulders, but if that was the case, we would be putting in lower lows than when we first started, but I don't think that's going to be the play here. What we really want to focus on in this long term is the main support area, which if we draw a horizontal line right here at around 20, what is this, around 20 cents, 15 to 20 cents. This is our main area of support. It's been our main areas of support since 2021. Of February. So is there a chance that we could be heading back down to around that 15 cents area for Phantom on the day chart? It's possible. It's very, very possible that we could be doing that to test that out. Because as of right now, we're continually making lower highs and lower lows. Uh, with the indicators here on the day chart, you can see the MACD is bearish. Uh, starting to work towards a bullish crossover right here, but it still is bearish. We have an RSI, which is pretty neutral here at 41, and the WTX, which is below zero. Now let's go to the four hour time frame and see what this thing's doing on the short term. So short term right now, what's pretty much not doing anything, it's pretty much been consolidating forever, the entire 2023. Well, at the beginning of 2023, we had a nice run up and we've been bleeding out ever since. So if we draw a downtrend right here on the four hour chart, what we can see is this downtrend convergence area of this main support happens to be around, you know, the end of August. So by the end of August, this thing has to decide on whether it's going to be breaking out or making a lower low. We do not want to be making a lower low. This is a multi-year support area right here at 15, 16 cents for Phantom. So if we break a multi-year support area, it's bad news bears. And I'd say look out below. So short term right now, we are looking for some downwards movement. As you can see, we are losing our bullish momentum here on the MACD on the four hour. Our side took a turn down right here, starting to make a uh, lower low. If we draw a downtrend right here, well, that's technically not valid. But if we draw something like this, you can see we are technically hitting this downtrend resistance area as well, which could, could, could push us down lower on the RSI. WTX is also tailing down. So I wouldn't be shocked. Let's blow this up and draw some fibs on it real quick. I wouldn't be shocked if we did make, you know, a decent sized dip here for phantoms because we really can't draw a fib right here. We are testing that 382 area out right between here's no man's land. So we have to overtake. I'd say 28 cents in order to start being bullish again because this is a pretty heavy resistance area. We fell back below it on June 10th. Um, act as resistance once, twice, broke above it, and now it's acting as resistance again. If we look at the short-term time frame, though, this is kind of looking like a head and shoulders forming, which could cause the capitulation down to around 16 cents. So I don't own any of this coin, and this is not financial advice, but I do think we might be able to pick up some, pick this coin up a little bit cheaper. I do think what we're going to be seeing here most likely is a drop down to 20 cents, and if we break 20 cents, the next stop would be 15. Those round numbers are very psychological resistance and support area. So if we draw a line of a horizontal line at 20 cents, you can see there's a quite a bit of support in the past right here. You can see this consolidation here. We bounced off the 20 cents here. We bounced off the 20 cents back here in June, 2022. So I think most likely the next stop will be back down to this 20 cents area. Now that's based on the larger fibs and the previous support resistance areas. If we draw from top to the bottom right here as well, we have the 786 in around 23 and that main support sitting around, you know, 20 cents. So short term right now for FTM, what I'm saying is I think you might be able to pick this coin up a little bit cheaper later down the road, possibly 25% cheaper at 20. If we break below that, the life's, the multi-year support level is sitting at 16, which is a 40% drop from here. So I'd be keeping an eye on 20 cents for FTM. I think that's gonna be the play here. Keep an eye on 20 cents. I think, I think that's what we're gonna be tagging here pretty soon. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on my Twitter page. The links are below in the description.